corresponding angles of conjecture. If two parallel lines say the keyword is parallel, if two parallel lines are cut by transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent. Okay, so the corresponding angles, I have a mark in red for you. So angle one. Angle one 
plus n equals to 7 will always add up to 180 degrees. So what will work? Angle 8 is the same side exterior with 2. So angle 2 plus angle 8 will always add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so these two exceptions you have to remember that's five total that you'll have to have memorized. So just to put them kind of all in one conjecture, okay, meaning what the parallel lines that is. If we have two parallel lines that are cut by transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent. So the interior angles are congruent, and the alternate exterior angles are congruent. You can kind of add in your the same side, the same side interior angles and the same side exterior angles are supplementary. That's a completely different conjecture, but that's something that you're going to have to remember to kind of just put them all together at once. Okay, so now the commerce ones also. So if you see two lines at by transversal, and you see these pairs of angles that are congruent, and it happens to be the corresponding the angles, the corresponding angles, congruent alternate interior angles, or congruent alternate exterior angles, then there's no doubt about it that the lines have to be parallel. Okay? So it works backwards too. That's what converse means. So we're going to get into that. All right, so let's us we have a problem where we have to apply those conjectures. So we have to solve for the measures of angles 1 through 7. And we are given only one angle here and this angle right over here. So the first one that I think is the easiest from yesterday is angle 6. That's vertical to so that one, so that one's going to be the same. Okay? Then I know from what I just learned, this is corresponding to this, that we have parallel lines here, so the corresponding angles will always be congruent, so that is also 30 degrees. And then again, there's the vertical angle rule again, so angle 1 is also 30 degrees. So what is angle 5? Angle 5 is right next to the 30 degree angle. And so for the both 30 degrees, but this right here is a linear pair. And so linear pair, we learned yesterday, it has to 180 degrees. So 5 is not 180. Yeah, that's to 180. So what does that make? 5? 150 degrees. Is corresponding with 5, so that makes that also 150 because we have a parallel line. And then 2 is corresponding with 3, I mean, that corresponding vertical with 3, so that is also 150 degrees. So that leaves us just with angle 7. And so angle 7 is actually related to this angle down here, the 90 degree angle. And these two right here are same side interior angles. And these two have to be, according to the conjecture, they have to be supplementary. So 90 plus 90 will equal 180. So 7 is 90 degrees. Okay, so why they make this harder? They might throw in some algebra expressions to make it more challenging. So be prepared to do algebra as well. 